All right, now, as requested, let's have a look at an example where I'm somewhere else. So let's convert, rather than this guy, let's convert... Okay, now, you help me out, right? If you want, well, let's, let's do one where it's like just a random, because you will get non-exact values, okay? So you give me a, a complex number, it's going to be the third quadrant. Just give me a complex number, any complex negative, number you like. Negative 5. Negative 5. That, negative that takes me to the left. Minus, minus 3i, okay? Alright, fine, well, wherever, alright? So you can see I've gone to the, to the left and I've gone down. Third quadrant, so far so good. So, how do I convert this thing? Okay. Um, <laughs> if you, I mean, someone, who said four? Who was the person who said four? Did someone say four? Okay, he was, he was trying to help us out to at least make not all the numbers gross because... Uh, I'm sorry. I, no, no, it's okay. Well, you just, um, actually, uh, five, three, it's, five still, it's still not going to be done. Yeah, five, twelve would do it. Twelve would do it. How Let's do you see 12. that in your head? Like okay, I want, well, where am I going to go next? I'm going to go to Pythagoras, right? I'm going to go to Pythagoras. So the two sets of common values you'll find are either ones that give you nice arguments. This will give you a nice argument, like so. Or ones that give you a nice modulus, right? Which are a whole number. You will, you'll never, unfortunately, get both, really. Unless you've got like an isosceles triangle. Anyway, let's have a go, shall we? Uh, we will do the modulus first. By the way, do you see why I do the modulus first? Mm -hmm. Why do I do the modulus first? You need it for. Uh, you kind of need it for this step, don't you? Right? Like I'll have R here, and I'm like, well, I don't know what you're dividing by. Okay, so you need to do this at the beginning. All right. So I am, um, as as was requested before, I'm going to go to this slide here. So it's the square root of five squared plus twelve squared. Twenty-five plus one hundred and forty-four. I happen to know that's thirteen. Okay. So there's my modulus. Let's go ahead and work out our angle now, okay? So I've got 13 sine theta equals, now, careful, careful. I've got a, a vertical part here, horizontal part here, right? So sine is minus 12. You are right with that? And at the same time, I've got 13 cos theta, and I have to go off to the left, so it's minus 5. You are right with that? So far, so good. Okay. So now I would say sine theta equals minus 12 on 13, and cos theta equals minus 5 on 13. Okay. Now, why, um, why did I say this? And really, you might as well take sine. Okay? Because now that you've got some weird gross value, right? you're going to have to reach for your calculator, obviously, to do this. Okay? Do you see why, when I see this domain, I think this rather than this? Okay. Have a think about it. If I said, okay, get your calculator out, get your calculator. And if I go, cos inverse. Oh, where's I? Oh, lick my calculator. Okay. By the way, uh, don't forget to switch yourself over into radians mode. You're probably still in degrees, okay? You'll know because your angle will be huge. Okay. Okay. Now, when you pop in cos inverse of minus 5 on 13, okay, what angle does it give you? What angle is it giving you? A little bit over sine 2. Cos inverse of minus 5 on 13? Where's it saying? 1.96 something times pi over 180. 1.96. 1.96. Okay. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with 1.96. 1.96. Where is 1.96? Oh, We're not that familiar. It's between, it's We're not that familiar with um, our, uh, our domains and that kind of thing. But I've gone. Well, where have I gone? Second quadrant. Well, that's almost the yeah, third, it's the third quadrant. fourth quadrant. No, it's the so, so let's think about it this way, right? Um, I'll, I'll come back to this diagram since it's, it's ready made for Okay. Yeah. So I've gone. I've gone to the wrong place. Clearly, I've gone to the wrong place. Okay. Why have I gone to the wrong place? Because. When I go from here, right, um, I know all the way here, I'm just going to try, now I have to think in decimal form, okay? Because the radians you're going to get when they're, when they're gross, like this, will be in decimal form. So I've gotten um, 
all the way around would be 3.14 in this direction. So where's 1.96? It's somewhere around here. Well, maybe it's oh, around so that doesn't it's mean like one All right, now why have I gone up there? Why has it taken me up there? Because cos okay. is negative in this second. Because, because cos, we know what the cos graph looks like. Did you um, remember me saying at the top of the lesson that I'm drawing together a whole bunch of strands? Okay. So here's cos. Okay, there's cos, right? Now, where is the first time that I'm going to get minus 5 on 13? And the answer is, I'm going to go here, right? There's my answer. Hmm. I don't want that answer, though. I'm not in the second quadrant. You knew from the beginning I wasn't in the second quadrant, okay? In fact, I want a third quadrant angle, okay? And it is there, it works, okay? But how do I get to that angle? How do I get to it? Now, I've got, I've got two ways of doing this. I can say, well, I know cos is an even function, right? Cos is an even function. So in fact, I can go all the way this way, right? And I can just reflect it across. So in fact, according to what the principal argument's interested in, this is a bit weird. The third quadrant arg um, argument is not this angle. This is not the third quadrant arg argument because it's outside the domain. You see that? It's past pi. I don't want that angle. I want this angle, right? I want to go the other direction, okay? So that would be negative 1.96, okay? Now you could just machine your way through that and like logic your way through that, but that's quite hard. Wouldn't it maybe be a better option if we tried to use this guy, right? Where's this gonna go? It's gonna go backwards, okay? Um, if you have your calculator there, and you give it a go, and you say it's just sine inverse, what does it tell you? Uh, yeah. Okay. So what I've done is I've gone all the other way, okay, and you've got a new angle here on the basis of this. Okay, you're happy with that idea? Okay, so what's our theta? Theta is equal to what what number did you get? Um negative? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I've whipped around the other way. I've come around this side and gotten my third quadrant angle, which is what I wanted. Okay. So I've got my modulus. I've got my argument. I can now state it as um, I've just run out of space, but I'll, I'll chuck it down here anyway. That z in this second example is um, what have I got? Thirteen outside of. Cos theta. Let's do um, let's do two decimal places. That's generally enough. Plus i sine theta. Okay. 